Hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Subnautica. Hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, why do we fall down, Master Bruce? <laughs> it's to pick ourselves back up again. I uh, managed to record a whole episode with no audio at all. New Windows update reset all of my OBS settings, all of my default audio settings. So no mic, no game sound, nothing. <laughs> But hey, welcome back! This wasn't where I was planning on starting this episode, but this is where we're starting it. Back inside the alien building that we were exploring in the last episode. Collecting ion cubes. Here, we'll let that do its thing. I'm gonna walk over here where it's a little quieter. And, um... I listened to the radio three times. Three whole times, yes. Here's what it said. This is life pod two coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Yeah, I went there. There was nothing there. Nothing at all. Check the life pod, check surrounding. Nothing. Then we got another message. Oh no, I went to this one first. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. This is life pod seven. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Basically, I went to both of these. And the only thing worth mentioning that I gathered, <laughs> and it is worth mentioning, is an unusual doll of Markiplier that I can now craft. <laughs> that was the only thing I found at either of these, and a gray hat, and a gray hat. We did get a rather ominous message. Playing partially translated broadcast. Destroy. Targets unaccounted for one. That's me. I'm the only target that's unaccounted for, I'm pretty sure. Uh, which to me says that everyone that tried to survive from the Aurora has been killed. Which I gotta say isn't the most um, encouraging thing. We're down here getting ion cubes because we need to craft these ion batteries. It takes one ion cube, one gold, and one silver. I was actually really low on silver in my upstairs base, but in my downstairs base, we farmed several nodes of this a couple episodes ago. So I came down here, and this was gonna be the end of the episode. I was just gathering the stuff I needed for uh, ion power cells, which takes two batteries and some rubber. We have so much rubber back at the base. In like episode three or four, I made way too much rubber, way more than I could ever use. Welcome to Captain. And I'm still using it. Nice. Inventory full. Let's go. Huh? Feels good, man. And then out of this teleporter, we head to our deep down low beacon. Which Tim too is parked right there, and I've been using him to shuttle items back and forth. It hasn't been a fast process by any means, but it's been a process. Uh, I did take a little gander, maybe you saw it at the hatching enzymes while we were listening to something. At least I think it was while we were listening. We need to gather all of these things in order to create an enzyme to hatch that ancient telepathic leviathan's eggs. And that leviathan has an enzyme in its stomach that completely cures the infection that we're ailed with. So if we can find one of each of those plants that we just showed, uh, we will be able to start the hatching process on those eggs and get those moving around. I've already gathered this one plant here. It's in storage, and I'm going to bring it back up to the surface and start to cultivate it. 
I do find it kind of funny that the alien said there was one unaccounted for life form. Everyone else that's come down to this planet, aside from the Degasi survivors that we were hearing about, everyone else has basically come down in their life pod, immediately left their life pod, and died. But for some reason, presumably died or was captured. I don't really know what these aliens are, are really doing with our guys if they are gathering them up. But meanwhile, I've made three like auxiliary scanning bases, one giant base in the shallows, uh, another base, uh, you know, 14 to, or 900 meters down at that uh, at that giant tree underwater. I've left the Leviathans dead on the seafloor. Like, I have not been quiet. I have been making a scene here. Yet, they can't find me? Am I the one that's unaccounted for? Seems kind of weird. So, let's check up on our rocket that we're building in here. We have a plan for eliminating the infection by spreading out those eggs in the shallows once we can get them to hatch. But in order to, I think, add on the last piece, we need two ion power cells, one plasteel ingot, four crystalline sulfurs, and four kyanite. I have all of these materials. We just need to craft the ion batteries. So I filled up with my inventory with what I could carry. But I also put some storage bins on the side of Tim, too. I swapped out his torpedo <laughs> and his reinforced hull just so I could fit a little more stuff. And then I'm just dumping it into this box. This will be our dump box for the time being. So we're going to need four pieces of gold, four pieces of silver, four ion cubes. And where's my rubber box? And then two pieces of rubber. Hey, what's up? All right. Good talk. Glad you called me to let me know that. I'm surprised power cells don't take up more room in your inventory. They seem really, really big. And with that... Let's see it, dude. Nice, that looks great. Oh, a Cyclops shield generator, plast steel ingots, enameled glass, and a computer chip. Okay. Uh, my Cyclops is down at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> uh, would it be easier to just make another one? Kind of. I think I have all that. Hold on, I'll be right back. Before I forget as well, I have so many extra grow beds for stuff. Let me start a grow bed for the ghost weed that we need. And that'll, that'll start to sprout while we're out doing other stuff. So these three used to be full of titanium. We're down to just the one now. But, we had enough stuff. All systems online. I think this really goes to show how overprepared I am for a lot of this game. Because I had so much, like, anxiety early on, I spent a lot of, t a lot of my time just gathering resources. Just organizing things. It was fun, I gotta say, I was a fan. So I did all of this so I could just craft a shield generator from here. Uh, advanced wiring kit, poly polyaniline, and a power cell coming right up. I can do that. Like, really? These aliens can't find me, dude? I forgot to mention I'm building a giant fucking rocket that can be seen from any direction. <laughs> 
<laughs> but they can't find me, dude. What? Uh, I think I brought everything. Oh. All oh, right, I'm just making the shield generator. Okay, then I still need plasteel, an ammo glass, and a computer chip. Okay, I have the stuff for the shield generator at least. Okay, we do have a slight problem. I moved all of my, the rest of my quartz is all down at the bottom of the ocean. I was making some new lights down there. Uh, but lucky for us, this is a pretty quartz rich zone. So we need two quartz to make glass. We already have the stalker teeth for the enameled glass. It's just getting to this stuff. And getting away in one piece. So on top of the cockpit, we needed a computer chip, enameled glass, which I already crafted. That uses uh, stalker teeth as well as two quartz. And I think the last one was Plasteel, which is 10 titanium. And two lithium. Oh, bless me. That was aggressive. So the rocket's ready. <laughs> I don't think I should try to leave before I uh, figure out how to turn off that cannon, though. But hey, that's a big step forward. A very, very big step forward. Yo, any more radio messages waiting for me? Nope. How's our plant doing? It looks like it grew in pretty good. I wonder if it'll break. Wow, my inventory's full with it. Well, that should be all we need. That'll grow in nicely. So on top of the ghost weed, which we're now farming, uh, we are going to need to find an eye stalk seed a sea crown seed, a fungal sample, and a bulb bush sample. Okay. Hey, big guy. You know, I used to be pretty scared of these when I first saw them, but they're just beautiful. Every time I see one, I want to give him a little, a little pat. Let him know I care about them. These guys have a wide array of life growing on their backs. I'm sure we all know that by now. But does brain coral, is that what I'm after? Brain coral sample? No, bulb bush sample. Hmm, I don't see any eye stalks on his back. What's this thing? A veined nettle. I thought it would be pretty cool if some of the materials we needed were just on the back of these guys. But I guess I got that little coral thing mixed up. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, chill, chill! So we are at camera five. It's our first scanning platform that we made. Down there is beacon two. This was near one of the first life pods that we found just below 200 meters. Back when that was the limit of our depth that we could go down. And I remember very clearly in the cave over here was the first time I encountered those eye stalks that we're gonna need. This should be the cave that had the life pod in it. And right next to the life pod, boom, 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 boom. I'll just take one of these. Three, 
four, five, six. Oh, I almost had enough for a whole grow bed. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's so funny we just made a new Cyclops so we could craft the mod rather than going back to our old Cyclops. I know for sure that's going to make someone really mad. <laughs> oh yeah, these are growing in nice. Good. Let's get the eye stocks in. Beautiful. Oh, look how tiny they are. I think that's going to do it for today's episode, everybody. Making that rocket was a fantastic achievement. Now we just have to find the three other plants needed for the hatching enzymes. I imagine the bulb bush are those blue bulbs north off the front of the ship. I don't really know where to find the sea crown or the fungal sample, but that's for me to find out. Oh, it's worth noting that the sea crown is a seed, but the other two are just bits. It's just a sample. So I won't be able to plant those. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you again soon. Goodbye.